quick. They were great. Uh, Greg's team was awesome. Made a bunch of shots. When they did, we dropped our heads. Um, our turnovers killed us. Offensively, we were fine other than our turnovers. But 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 Indiana State certainly played a great game tonight. The turnovers, uh, yeah. did they do anything differently that the guys maybe just weren't prepared for? Uh, they pressed us. We, we, we practiced against their press for a couple days. It's the same press that Bradley has, so we'd actually practice against their 1-2-2 two, two for, for two straight games. Um, I mean, it's nothing, they, nothing we hadn't seen, nothing we didn't prepare for, but we certainly were casual with the ball. I mean, the team confidence level, how shaken is it right now? It's really shaken now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, without a doubt. And, and you see it when you, when, when you get hit in the mouth with some shots maybe they haven't been making. And, um, and it, but it's yeah, it's not great right now. I, I thought I, I really really thought we'd play well. We had two good days of practice. Attitudes and energy was great, but you still can't simulate uh, game pressure and and the other team playing very well. Um, but those threes were kind of demoralizing to our team, and and, and you can't let that happen. Dan, I've heard Greg say the same thing you just said, where you know the team might look good in practice. Yeah. Days before a game, then you get something completely different. Is that one of the most vexing things about your team, and then about a lot of teams in this league? It is. I mean, it's, it's like I just told him. Look, if you're going to do something poorly, do it in practice so we can correct it. Because when you get in the game, and it happens, you can talk about it at timeouts, but it's very difficult to correct. We've had really good practices uh, the last uh, week or so, but there's a different pressure in games. And when you're, when you're lacking confidence or things don't go well early in the game, um, it impacts you differently emotionally. Um, the most vexing part is that this main same group of guys was really good last year at this time. And, and right now, um, I'm having a hard time figuring out which but, buttons to push to, to get us over the hump. You called the locker room crushed after the Bradley game. Yeah. What, what is the word today? Uh, the word today, Jim. Um, you know, a combination of frustration and, and uh, you know, self-pity always creeps in in situations like this. We talk about not having it, but it's human nature. But there's some, there's some guys that, you know, the thing you, the thing you, can, you can really, the thing that's dangerous this time of year is you get that and guys will start wanting the season to be over. And we addressed that after the Northern Iowa loss, actually. And it just can't happen. Um, but as, as I told them, I can't make them do anything. So it's kind of up to each individual. You know, in life when you have adversity and you just want it to be over, it's just a characteristic that really doesn't help you be successful in life, whether it's sports or anything, as all of us know here, right? And so I'm hopeful we can help them grow as men to understand um, you got to fight through, through rough waters. And you can't just want it to be over so it's easier. So I don't know if anybody's like that. Um, they don't look like that in practice, but they look like that in games sometimes. And so I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful that that's not the case. That one, two, two you mentioned. Mm -hmm. Indiana State has used it, but not to the extent that they did tonight. Right. Certainly not at that stage in the game. Right. Um, and it, you know, obviously the transition to half court is where a lot of the turnovers took place. Um, were you surprised to see the extent that they used it? Because that's the longest I've seen. Well, they haven't opened up in it, to my knowledge, in the games I've watched. And usually, if you're a guy who presses some, you open up in it. If it's working, you stay in it. If it doesn't, you get out of it. It obviously worked well. And so we gave them the ability to stay in it because we had some quick turnovers early, gave them confidence. But we, we shouldn't, with the veteran team, we, we shouldn't have those turnovers. We were just lackadaisical with the ball and, and weren't tough enough with the ball. But they cert Indiana State certainly, Greg's team certainly played great both ends of the court. Coach, with the conference tournament, yep. you've coached in it, you've played in it. What are some experiences that you can kind of share with your team as you head towards the team? Well, unfortunately right now we're not talking about that much because uh, my experience is unless you're playing well going into it, you don't just magically turn it on. I don't think there's been a team who's won that tournament who didn't come in hot in my seven years. I, like I'm almost positive about that. So um, we got we, we to gotta start playing well so then we can worry about the tournament. Um, obviously, at this point, you, you start worrying about Thursday night because it's a lot harder to win four games than three. But still, all you can do is try to win the next game. Um, but this is the first time I've been in a situation. My teams are all, 
in, in six years, my teams are playing really well at this point in the year. And so this is the first time we've, we've, we've had these struggles late. And so I'm, I'm trying to figure out what buttons, what, which buttons to push.